Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade module 1, lesson 3, powers of monomials. After this lesson, you need to be able to use the power of a power property and the power of a product property to simplify expressions with integer exponents. Let's learn power of a power. You can use the rule for finding the product of powers to illustrate how to find the power of a power. So for example, if we had 6 to the 4th power, and I wanted to raise that to another power, so it's a power to another power, then I can show that it's the power multiplied the number of times with the exponents. Then if I use my product of powers that we did in lesson two, I know that if I multiply things with the same base, I add the exponents. So what I would end up with is six to the four plus four plus four, which is six to the 12th. Notice that the product of the original exponents, so four and three, gives us our final power of 12. This is called the power of a power property. And that power of a power property says to find the power of a power, you're going to multiply the exponents. So when you see this, you're gonna see something to an exponent inside parentheses, and then immediately outside parentheses will be another exponent. If you see that, you're going to multiply the exponents. So if we had five to the second power raised to the third power, I would do two times three or five to the sixth power. Example one, power of a power. Simplify eight to the sixth to the third power. So I have eight to the sixth to the third power. I can see that I have a power inside parentheses and another exponent outside. So using my power of a power property, I'm gonna multiply the exponents. Six times three is 18. So simplified, this would just be eight to the 18th power. So eight to the sixth raised again to the third power would be eight to the 18th power. Check your understanding. Simplify the expression given. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found six to the 15th. Again, power inside, parenthesis, exponent outside, multiply the two things, three times five is 15, six to the 15th power. Example two, power of a power. Simplify k to the seventh raised to the fifth. So again, I have a power, exponent outside of parentheses, multiply my exponents, seven times five is 35, so this must be k to the 35th power. So k to the seventh raised to the fifth would be k to the 35th. Check your understanding, simplify the given expression, pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found k to the 28th. We have just multiplied 4 and 7, power to a power, x to the 28th power. Let's learn. Power of a product. The following example demonstrates how the power of a power property that we just learned about can be extended to find the power of a product. So here we have a product. This is really 4 times a squared raised to another power. So power of a product. What this is showing is this is really 4a squared 3 times. Then if we use our commutative property and put our numbers together and our variables together, we can see this is really four to the third power and a to the second power three times. What we get right there. So four to the third power is just 64. a to the second power to the third power, we have our power of a power property, two times three is six. So together this would be 64 a to the sixth. Now, how this works, notice that each factor inside, so both the four and the a to the second power were raised to the third power here. So essentially, it's almost like we distributed that power to each part of our product inside. This is the power of a product property. So our power of a product property says to find the power of a product, find the power of each factor and multiply them together. So if I had two factors to the m power, it would be like doing each factor to that power. So two x to the third to the fourth, if we are doing this, and I'm just gonna keep showing it as distribution. So two to the fourth times x to the third to the fourth, altogether two to the fourth would be 16, x to the third to the fourth would be x to the 12th. We just squished it back together after we distributed that power to each factor. Example three, power of a product. Simplify 2p to the third power all to the fourth power. So 2p to the third power to the fourth power, we're going to put that exponent outside to each part inside, two to the fourth power. Then we have our power of power property, p to the third to the fourth, so p to the three times four. Simplified, two to the fourth is 16, p to the three times four is p to the 12th. So I'd have 16, p to the 12th. So 2p to the third, all to the fourth is equal to 16p to the 12th. Check your understanding. Simplify the given expression. Pause the video now and complete the check. You should have picked D, 343W to the 21. So you might be noticing right away, this part, W7 and 3, 7 and 3 is 21. That eliminates C because we have the wrong exponent there. But remember, we also have to do this exponent to the factor of seven. So what is seven to the third power? That is 343. It's not just seven times three, so not 21. A is if we forgot to do it at all. So D, 343W to the 21st. Example four, power of a product. 
simplify negative 2 m to the 7th, n to the 6th, all to the 5th power. So here we just have a few more factors. We have our constant factor, we have a factor of m's, and a factor of n's. For the exponent outside, we're just going to distribute that to everything so they all get to the power of 5. So negative 2 to the 5th power, m to the 7th to the 5th, and then n to the 6th to the 5th. So these two, 7 and 5, are going to be 35. 6 and 5 is 30. And then we'll calculate this out as a number value. Negative 2 to the 5th is negative 32. m, power of 35, n, power of 30. So our given expression would be equal to negative 32 m to the 35th, n to the 30th. Again, the key here, just remember, the exponents inside are usually easiest to remember. A common mistake is to forget to do it to the coefficient factor out front. Check your understanding, simplify the given expression, and choose the correct answer. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have picked B, negative 125W6Z24. So 8 and 3 is our 24. 2 and 3 is our 6. Then we also got to do it to that 5. 5 to the third power is 125, and it's negative. So negative 125W6Z24.